I'm, I'm, until it dies and, and then I'm just gonna salute it and burn it. Hey guys, this is David with AeroParts.com and today I'm going to show you how to find a misfire in a 2001 Ford Expedition with the 5.4 liter Triton V8. Now this method is going to work for most 97 to about 2014 Fords with the 4.6 V8, the 5.4 V8, the 6.8 liter V10, uh, the F-150 to F-250 to F-350, the Crown Victoria, the Lincoln Town Car, the Lincoln Navigator, the Ford Explorer, and the list goes on. Um, I'm going to be including the test IDs on the screen for the different years as well once we get into Mode 6. And trust me, this is going to save you a whole lot of money over taking it to the dealership. Now, if you have a basic OBD2 scanner, you're only going to be able to pull up a misfire code if the check engine light is on. However, in these type of Fords, the, the computer does not turn on the check engine light if it misfires less than 2.3% of the firing cycle. And a lot of times, many owners can still feel these misfires, and it's very frustrating to not be able to identify where the misfire is coming from and what's going on with it. So today I'm going to show you guys exactly how to find that misfire. Now we're going to go ahead and plug our scanner in underneath the steering column. And we're going to go to special tests and then diagnostic monitor test. Now, before even going any further, I just want to make make a note that all scanners are not going to be the same. Some of them say non-continuous monitors. Some of them might not be in, in the same exact type of menu setup. But you want to get to the area where you could view the test IDs for the vehicle. So just keep that in mind. They're not going to be exactly the same the step for this particular part but you just want to make sure it's it's, it's either going to say something like diagnostic monitor test or non-continuous monitors or something monitor and then you're going to go on so we're going to go into diagnostic monitor tests and to test ID 53 now it's going to be different based on the year this is a 2001 I'm going to put that on the screen and on this screen here we can see the cylinder number one which is ID some of them will say component um, but one max 3600 measurement is the number of misfires. As you can see, this this cylinder is okay. No worries on that one. Number two, as we can see, this has been misfiring quite a bit, and this will definitely cause an issue to 2032. But even if it didn't misfire that many times, this check engine light is actually on. But if it only misfired 10 times, the computer will still record it and your check engine light would not be on. It would give you a major headache. You see the rest of the cylinders are okay. There's no misfires. And this is exactly what I wanted to bring up. A lot of people don't know about this Mode 6. It is an incredibly valuable tool for anybody working on cars. Now, not all computers will pull up information like this. Ford did a really good job with allowing their computers to record data like that but it will always help you regardless of which car you work on a lot of the more modern cars I'd say around 2005 and up Ford started a little early with this which is a great thing um, you're able to pull up a lot of information from the computer and you're able to diagnose a lot and find out so thank you guys for watching this video I really hope it helps you fix that misfire that's been bugging you for a while in your Ford and if you have any suggestions for videos give us a shout out in the comment section make sure to subscribe and thank you guys for watching